Hello, welcome to Star Wars Spelt Out. I'm your host Josh Sherman and today, a uh, quick video. There, it's probably going to be part one of two. I don't think there's going to be two videos. I think there's going to be one video and then we'll stop the video and then we'll jump forward in time at some point and then there'll be some more of the video at the end of this because a couple of things have arrived and I wanted to open them because they're just sitting here and I didn't want to have to wait until some more stuff arrived. So I thought I would just open what's here. It's not stacks, but then just show them and then stop it and then do another one, pick it up when some stuff's supposed to come in about a week or so and then put the whole thing up. So probably means that the, the, the camera angle will jump and the t-shirt will jump and who knows, I might have had a haircut or grown a beard or something by then, but we'll, uh, we'll see. But there was a few things that came through and um, yeah, thanks to everybody who sent messages and, and after getting Yak in there. So you quite a place that the arrangement hasn't changed. I'm not going to show the arrangement. Nothing's changed there since last time. Waiting for a few things to arrive. So this arrived yesterday. Um, I won't show my address on there, but it does say Australia has come from France. I think I mentioned before what this was going to be. It's been going transit for a while here. So I just realized I don't have any scissors here. So I'm going to have to try and open this without any scissors because I didn't pack any. So, oh, actually what we'll do is we'll put on the other camera as well. There's Daddy Pig zoomed out. Oh God. Well, it's there. It's in the bag. It's wrapped in the thing. Only a few things, so I guess it, it makes sense that it's here. So again, it's well wrapped. Yeah, I should have brought scissors. That was dumb. Can I do this quickly without losing all of you? Losing your attention while I get this. If people remember, this was the last figure that was needed. This is it, officially, of the, of the official figures. Oh, there he is. Yep, that's about right. What I expected. He's got a bit of yellow, but there he is. There's Warrock, naked bear. There's a bear in there. It's got a bit of coloring on the front. You've seen a bit of sun. It's quite funny. He's only his front, little front bits yellow. His back is actually the right color. So that's about as bare bones as it gets really. But he's here. He's the last holdout apart from blue snag. If we do blue snag, we'll see. But that's it. That means there's a complete set. The question is, do you splurge on the hat? I'll keep an eye again don't really want a repro hat there are a couple of hats on ebay they're not cheap i'm considering sitting a low ball seeing maybe if they buy it just think sell it off the books but yeah there he is warwick he looks like the other ones he's got their little belt seems to be the only thing there that sort of differentiates them but uh, differentiates um yeah so he'll go over there i'll find a spot for him and then we'll figure out how we're going to arrange these things um again there was a few things that are coming but i'm going to move daddy pig i'm never sure well, that's just the one dude he's just going to sit there daddy pig could probably sit there because it's, it's so zoomed out at the moment you probably can't even really see i've had to put the um the camera up a bit higher today so yeah can you go in closer there he is i'm just sitting this on top of the laptop if you're wondering how i'm jigging this up so one other thing arrived just one item it's a bit bigger so it's not a figure so you probably got a pretty good idea of what it's going to be i've got my keys here i do so it should be easy enough to get this tape open this was inspired by a friend of the show matt frost who uh was wondering asking me whether i was going to get one of these or not and i was going like uh, and then one kind of came up and i think it was a facebook australian toy auctions i think it was and it was there so i just threw in and oh yeah that's nice it's uh tonton whoops bad impressions you'll need bill hater so let's, let's take him out of the bag Oh yeah, he's nice. Very nice condition actually. He's got a little bit of marking on the face, but that's okay. There he is. Hello, Mr. Tonton. Whoop. Put his legs down. 
So he's, he's actually the open belly one, which I think is a little bit harder to come by. Might have even been the first iteration. I've never actually played with one ever. Hel I don't think I've ever even held one in before. So I wasn't quite sure what to expect really. Oh, there's a little bit of a clip on the saddle here, but who cares? It's the real saddle. No bridle though. So whether I get a bridle from somewhere there, I think they're pretty hard to come by loose. Do I have to get a repro one? Well, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, he looks really good. Very happy with that. I don't have, I mean, I've got my Hoth Han, but he's kind of sitting up there quite good. So I might get another Hoth Han just to put in there. Maybe if I get a find one on the cheap, he's just got to stand there. Um, the only extra loose figure I've got at the moment is Crix Medine. <laughs> he's the spare Crix Medine. So we could stand him in there for the time being. This is really breaking canon now. We go in, whoops. Oh my God. Get in there. The purists are outraged. There he goes. There's actually slightly, that blue and gray does actually kind of suit it. I might just put him in there for that for now until I get another Han and put it in and maybe we'll get a, we'll get a bridle, but having the saddle certainly helps as well. So there's a couple of things coming next week hopefully one thing that makes me closer to completing another bit and a few accessories so i think i'll just tack that video onto the edge of this of the edge of this video i'll move daddy freak over so yeah so there's a good chance that this will stop and then we'll jump forward in time and then i'll be back again so let's see whether that happens in you know three two one bang okay we've jumped forward in time i think hopefully Hopefully it wasn't too drastic. Things, cameras move slightly, different clothes, different lights, all that sort of stuff. I could have done like a wibbly wobbly transition, maybe I will. But uh, yeah, it's been a week or two since that other video was recorded and there's been a few acquisitions, including if it's in the thumbnail, probably like get to that. But I just thought I'd quickly just show a few things, the last couple of things that I've gotten before then, the last thing was um, Yak Face and Warrock, which is no one before, which I don't remember. And a couple of acquisitions through here. I'm just, I've got the box because it's been like a week or two, so no unboxing for this. But I've got a Droopy McCool. Not a Droopy McCool, Max Rebo. Droopy McCool's on his way. So I haven't quite got the whole band there yet. But he's got his piano. And it was sort of like a little make an offer deal. I got that and got a good, good, good deal on that one. So I'll just put him down here so i've just got to get the droopy mccool and i've got to get the hopefully get the microphones which will be expensive because they don't exist i don't want to get repros but we'll see what we can't do on that so i'll just move daddy pig out of the way there and it's a bit of a top down on that one but uh you know it's in very good nick he's got that fade around him which is pretty standard for those max rebos there aren't too many sort of blue ones but he's got a bit of blue darker blue in the middle and the other one i've got is actually an upgrade so i'm already upgrading figures which I don't normally do, but I couldn't really say no to General Lando with his cape because they just look so much better with capes. And this was an amazing price and I got the card back as well, so, which is sort of over there. Oh, it's just the card back for it. Came with it was, yeah, less than I think I got for my naked one or around the same. So I've got the spare one. So I'm going to hopefully see if I can um, offload that and... Um, sort of cover the cost of that so which basically means i get a free cape because even if i sell that one for what i paid for that in most cases it's a really good deal and i'm doing the same thing for a warrock i uh, got one with a hood for pretty much what a hood is going for at the moment so i've got that and i'll be able to offload that as well so yeah so i can't really show the i'm not going to pick the camera up and just walk it over there again but um the display at the bottom i think when i get everything in and set this up with what else i've got here i'll show what i've been doing but um give them a little bit more space they're looking a little bit better there um can we see in the background we'll, we'll do an attempt here there it is you can sort of see in the background just down oh, no there there it is uh that they're all on that bottom shelf there so that's where they're all living and i'm just working on getting a nice little light in there or something like that but you know as you know, we've got the, the key, the key, <laughs> the sorry, not the key light, the, the thumbnail. I think we'll have a picture of this, whatever this is. Which is, 
Oh my god, look at this. So it's a good day when this thing turns up at your house. Um, I don't know whether, I mean, should I just try and unbox it, I guess? Is this going to be one of those like awful, painful things that's going to take forever? But like, who cares, I guess? Just so this thing thing has been absolutely meticulously packed. Um, again, absolute credit to the seller who was a chap on um, one of the Facebook groups. And it's something I made a bit on a while ago. And I was really, really happy with the price. I don't think it's an amazing nick though. But as we'll see, you know what? I'm just going to try and do this. All right. Um, I'll try and do it as fast as I can. I know these things take forever, but I guess that's what unboxing is, isn't it? Is that you? And there's, this has been packed to perfection. So I'm going to try and get this out. Some people like this. I'm sure it drives some people insane that I just sit here and undo these boxes like this. <laughs> but I guess that wouldn't be an unboxing, would it? Is that? I'm just trying to find the point where the tape is. Maybe if I turn the turn the um, scissor handle around to the sharp side, that would probably help. There we go. That's actually going to work pretty well, I think. So luckily, uh, my partner Kat wasn't home when this box arrived, so I didn't have to answer any questions. And to be fair, she's been very, very supportive with everything, and she knows I love this stuff. So it hasn't really been an issue that I've been starting down this path and doing this. So, oh my God. So I'm gonna, this is a little bit awkward, but I know obviously, actually, you know what? I can just do it from here because I've got the other camera. That'll make it a lot easier. So there's the the box there. And as you can see, there's something in here. So I'll just put this back over here over Lando and Max Rebo. Oops, let's not wreck Lando's cape. And well, I might have to move them in a sec, but I'll just see if I can get this slide this out of the box. Oh, don't fall. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the box is secured. Put that there. For everybody playing along at home. Don't know if they can see. Here we go. It's not Droopy McCool, I can tell you that much. Again, this has been meticulously packed. But I think also in a way that's quite reasonable as far as being able to undo it as well, which is good rather than it just sort of randomly being taped everywhere. Is that going to work? There we go. Sorry if I'm not talking directly into the microphone as well. Oh my God, <laughs> it's like another whole layer. <laughs> so there's a layer and there's another layer underneath. Can I get this out? Am I going to have to pull it all? so people can actually see what's going on here. So you can see there's bubble wrap and there's bubble wrap. This, oh, there we go. Shoot it in the right spot, will ya? Oh my God. Um, let's just get now, oh, I'm doing it and shooting with one hand. I'm trying to cut this as well, so I've made my made it even harder for myself. And I'm very conscious of not wanting to. Yeah, we're gonna have to put that there for a sec. Conscious of not wanting to have to wreck anything. God, I thought those other figures were 
We're close. Ugh. See what's going on here. Um, oh, get the rub bubble wrap off. I don't actually know. I'm just going to pull this off and see which way up it is and see whether we. Okay. So I'll pull it. I can just get an idea from there of what, what's going on here. Can we see that? Kind of. Can I make that actually bigger? Yeah, there we go. What a wonderful world of technology. So let's just pull this off. I'm just trying to get this mic close so you can hear me. Or should I just speak up a little bit? So hurry up and get to it. I'm trying as much as I can here. Oh my God, it's like Christmas. <laughs> wow. Mm. Holy shit. It's the heart fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. It's the Millennium Falcon. And it's in a display case already. And that was part of the big deal. So let's put this down for a sec. I'll flip it over. Wow, God. Um, there it is. It's in an acrylic case already. So can I? There we go. Get it closer to the mic. There we go. Oh, why are you that way? So yeah, part of the deal. It was, to be fair, that I paid probably half. More than half would have been what a case was on its own. So that was part of the deal. And, you know, I never had a Millennium Falcon growing up, believe it or not. Um, never got even close to getting a Millennium Falcon growing up. So this is pretty amazing. You know, it's not in the best condition. It's an older one, but you, you, this was still an amazing deal. And the ship's still in there. So I'm going to, part of the thing is I can display the, God, if I can, if I, it'll actually fit on the shelving I was going to put it on. It is bloody humongous. So let's just turn that off. Um, oops, if I can move. This is a very live, live and kicking kind of thing, but uh, just to get an idea of how big this thing is, look at the size of it. It is huge. How did kids these days, back in the day, so no, I definitely didn't have a Millennium Falcon growing up. Um, I suppose I should take it out and try and open it, shouldn't I? Uh, how the hell am I going to do that? Is that another video on, it, in its, on its own? I'm just going to... Yeah, right, breaking stuff everywhere. That wasn't the Millennium Falcon, that was something else. Um... Take the back off. Um, there it is. There. God, I'm so worried it's just gonna, you know, fall apart like dust or something. It's um. Just gonna see if I can. Maybe we should put this other camera back on. Gonna have to try and talk off mic. Here we go. Um, I didn't really think this far ahead, to be honest. Let's just see if we can get it out. Amazing. Those acrylic cases. 
God, it's when you take it out of the case, it's actually not that heavy. Oh, there it is. Oh. The hip in the club has been blo has been uh, beautifully wrapped as well. There's the falcon. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna there it is. Wow. So I'll just again this packing is you know absolutely brilliant and again this you know what i don't even think i've ever even played with a falcon before i'm just trying to think if i've ever even played with it maybe i think i had a mate of mine when i lived in london he might have had one sort of on display at his house so but this is when we we're grown up when we we're adults and i just sort of went oh that's cool i'd really like one of those one day um but as far as I don't think I ever went to somebody's house. I didn't really know anybody who had one. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed as well, which is probably why this has been taking even longer than it should, but this is gonna be the most wibbliest, wobbliest video ever. Like, you know, let's, don't get me wrong, this thing has seen some action. It's got some, I'm just gonna have to put this down for a because it's upside down. So that's the bottom of the Falcon. I mean, it's definitely yellow, but it's legit. So let's flip it over. Whoa, wow. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. It's a proper one. It's been properly played with. Oh, it's even got the, It's even, I won't go through all of that, but it's got it. Some of the accessories in there. Oh yeah, it's got the the, the the dish and a couple of other things. I don't think it's certainly got everything. It's got the jackpot. Oh look, what a nice little touch. Han and Dewey are in there. I think they might even be in better condition than my regular Han and Dewey. I might have to get them out and compare. But there it is. So there. Amazing. So now I've got to find a home for it. <sighs> I've got a pretty good spot where I want to put it, although I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the space. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the space going, I don't think it's going to fit. So there might be an alternative spot we have to put this. So look, that was a bit ramshackle, I understand. But I mean, how many, you know, how often does a Millennium Falcon turn up at your house? Seldom, if ever. So that's the, <laughs> the video. Um, Will there be more stuff coming? There's a, yeah, I've got a Droopy McCall coming. I've got a few extra capes for things. I got a Lando cape, Leia, um, my old Vader, my original Vader, and an Obi Wan. I, I managed to get some old, proper, genuine capes. They look like they do with the capes, so not a huge deal there, but it was really nice for my original Vader, who I've had since I was about five, four or five, to get a cape back finally. No lightsaber yet, but we'll look at that. Um, so really there's just blue snag is the only thing that I don't have. And that's just, that's, you know, if it happens, it happens. It'll ha one day. So there might, this might be the end of it, but I might show a video when I get everything displayed, if I can figure out where to put this thing. And um, yeah, thank you everybody for indulging. Um, this video is a bit all over the shop. Cameras pointing at black screens, all that kind of stuff. Well, it's just, just the way it goes. So um, thank you everybody. And uh, we'll see you soon.